right, welcome to How To and Few. Today we have some problems with our Xbox, and looks like we're going to have to do a factory reset since it's stuck on the green loading screen. So we're going to go ahead and Google that. And we see there are some listings here on what to do. But what we really want is the factory reset. I guess we could do the USB because that's what we're going to need. All right, how to use the offline system update. First thing you're going to need is a flash drive. If you're searching for this, you probably already know that. So we are going to plug in a flash drive and do what they're saying here. It has to be formatted to NTFS which it'll probably be formatted FAT32 which would be here so you can see here FAT32 where I'm pointing we're going to change that to NTFS format do a quick format that will erase everything on the flash drive. It has to be at least two gigs. <clears throat> and while that's formatted, we're going to go down here. You have to determine if you're straight out the box, you may have to use the first uh, update file, but we know that we need the second one. So we're going to click that. And we see that here. It's downloading at about seven minutes. In the meantime, our format is complete on the thumb drive. So we can close that. And I'll check back with you in a minute once we uh, have finished downloading this OSUDT2 zip file. All right, so we're back now, and we see that our little file has finished downloading. So we're going to view the downloads open folder. This is Windows 10, by the way. Okay, now I can see my update file there. It's mixed in with some other update files. It's the OSUDT2 zip and I'm going to open that and I see that there's a system update folder and that system update folder needs to go onto my uh, flash drive which is in this other folder so we'll just copy this right on over. So it's now extracting from that zip file in this box the OSUDT2 zip. It appears like a folder because Windows can handle zip files now. And it wants us to put the contents of the zip file onto this thumb drive, which we copied there. And here's our status bar. It's a fairly large file, so it's going to take a while to zip or unzip onto the USB drive or thumb drive or flash drive, whatever you call it. So I'll check back with you once that's done. We'll take that over to the Xbox and see if we can't get it rid of that red screen. Oh, look at that. Here we go. All right, I'll see you over there in a minute. All right, so here we see our green screen of death, and we finished up our thumb drive. Here it is, ready to insert into the Xbox. So uh, there's a little sequence you have to go through to tell it to look on the USB drive to reboot. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. All right, first thing we're going to do is power down the Xbox, and we're going to hold this button for 10 seconds to do a force power off. Okay, now our power is off and I'm going to unplug the power brick. Unplugging the power brick causes the Xbox to completely shut down so it won't recover from a sleep mode. It will force it to uh, do a full reboot. So after about 30 seconds you can plug the brick back in. And then we're going to plug in our USB drive. There happens to be a convenient 
USB port right here on the front side. Okay, and I've inserted that now. And then the, the key is going to be to press the bind button on the side here, the eject button, and then hit the Xbox button at the same time. So. Now we should wait 10 to 15 seconds for two tones. That sounds like one. And that's two. So now I can let go. And I want to show you this. System error, contact Xbox customer support. <laughs> How nice is that? Okay, so I've just reformatted the the USB drive since our first little attempt did not work. It could be because we are running the preview edition, so now What I'm looking at doing is restoring the factory defaults. This is going to wipe out my Xbox. I'm going to lose all my accounts, apps, games, save games, and settings. Anything not synchronized with Xbox Live will be lost. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I guess that's what I get for being uh, part of the preview beta uh, group. Hopefully, uh, if you were doing it, that, that uh, OS UDT2 update worked for you instead of having to do what we're doing now. All right, let's view downloads within this folder. And we are now looking for factory reset zip. I'm going to open that. It also says system update, so we will copy that to our, <clears throat> and that went much faster, system update, updater, VXD. All right, let's give this one a shot. And see if we can get our Xbox going. Okay, so here we are again on the green screen. Let's go through the motions again. 10 second shutdown. Unplug the power cord. Supposed to wait 30 seconds. But since I'm quite frustrated at this point, I don't have the patience. So power, now we're going to use our factory reset. This is not the update file. This is complete back two years or whatever, uh, I guess, to the original ROM. Um, closing buttons. see what happens. Alright, Xbox is still on, the screen went black and okay now we lost input. Alright, tell you what this is a good sign. Better than before, anyway. I'm going to move the camera. 
try to get rid of some of this glare. All right, this looks like a good sign. I guess it wants me to turn on the controller. So we are now going to do that. Looks like it's performing some kind of system test. All right, well, that's something. Not what I would have liked. Obviously, we would have liked to keep all our stuff and not have to completely start over. As I said, I was a member of the preview um, desktop beta group, so I had the new interface before everybody else. Uh, and, and the irony is that today is the day the new interface is supposed to roll out. So there must have been some kind of conflict. Uh, hopefully not everybody is going through this. But uh, I guess uh, if you are, this video will show you how to correct the issue. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And uh, I'm gonna do that with the camera off. And I'll be right back. <laughs> that was me. Alright, so without showing necessarily my gamer tag, it looks like we are up and running. Let's see if my games show up. <laughs> well, alright, ready to install. So all the games appear to be there. Except for my disc games. These are just my digital games. So I assume I have to put the disc back in. And none of the apps are there either. So I've got quite a bit of uploading to do. Oh, and I did disconnect my TV tuner and my external hard drive. So I have to do those things. But all in all, it looks like we are back. To, uh, a working Xbox so hopefully that helped you out if you have any questions leave them below I know the video is not as smooth as uh, it should be but that's how it is in real life sometimes things don't go exactly to plan so hopefully the first step update worked for you and you were able to keep all your stuff but if not this was a complete factory reset um, and it wasn't quite as hard as what I imagine I'm glad it worked out in the end um, so Give me a thumbs up if that helped you out. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. Um, and I'll see you next time.